This is InfoLive TV, bringing you the news update for March 28th. I'm Margot Dudkevich. The Prime Minister's office slammed the High Court decision to publish testimony of the Winograd Committee on the Second Lebanon War. The court said it will permit the publishing of details after they have been screened by censorship and intelligence officials. The Prime Minister's office said the decision could damage state security. The Saudi Arabia Foreign Minister warned Wednesday that Israel's rejection of the Saudi initiative could plunge the entire region into war. The two-day summit began in Riyadh today. Palestinian Prime Minister Ismail Haniya says he will not compromise on the right of the refugees to return. Iran announced that it would release a female British soldier, one of 15 abducted at gunpoint by Iran. Prime Minister Tony Blair says Britain will freeze bilateral ties with Iran until the sailors are released. At least one Palestinian was killed when IDF forces shot at three Palestinians preparing to fire Qassam rockets at Israel. During the day, seven Qassam rockets were fired at Israel. No one was wounded. No one was wounded in the attacks. Five Palestinians were wounded when a gunman opened fire at a Hamas leader in northern Gaza near Beit Hanun. Constant rivalry between Hamas and Fatah factions has caused violence to escalate. Hundreds of settlers in Chomesh were evacuated peacefully by police and border police on Wednesday, thus ending the two-day protests and the settler campaign to rebuild the community. Israel and Estonia are set to play the Euro 2008 qualifier match tonight in Ramat Gan. Tensions are high in Israel as if the team loses, they will be ousted from the qualifier. Arab and Hebrew translations of the famed Asterix comic book were released simultaneously at the Paris Book Fair. The translated comic book refers to the 1001 Arabian Nights. Elsewhere on Infolive.tv today, Soapbox, Israel and Palestinians comment on Condoleezza's visit to the region and making matzot in Kfar Chabad. Infolive.tv, the world's first television channel broadcasting on the web in four languages, live from Jerusalem. If you want a direct look at Israel and the Middle East, Infolive TV is there, at the heart of the information, at the heart of history, at the heart of Israel. Infolive.tv.